In today's video, we are going to feed all of my non tarantula spiders, and that includes jumping spiders, trapdoor spiders, six eyed sand spiders, these true spiders that we rehoused in the last video, also another jumping spider is here, and these heavy webbing spiders. Hell yeah. Oh, never mind, never mind. I also have, I almost forgot that over here I have some tiny but really long lived uh, spiders, and I, they are just a bit different. And by the way, for all of you that were waiting for these, these acrylic enclosures are now finally available at the web shop. So go ahead and check them out. Available only for European countries. And I also restocked the Rainbow Ornata shirt. So yeah, go, go. I will wait until you check it out. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> and out of all of these spiders, I'm mostly excited to feed the trapdoor spider. And I'm pretty sure that majority of you that are watching are also mostly excited about that. And as a YouTuber, I should probably delay that and put it at the, at the end of the video. But I just can't help myself and I'm going to feed it first. So if you look inside, you see that it finally did the... Uh, the web the lines out of the trapdoor last time i showed you the trapdoor the spider didn't do that so now he finally did that i tried to fish him once and there was a strong reaction so i'm pretty sure that despite all of that it will eat it should eat so i'm gonna grab one uh, lateralis roach and i should i would like to feed it in slow motion yeah we are going to do that because you know they are hella fast and if i record it in normal speed we just won't see anything. So slow motion footage is a way to go. Let me just set up the camera. Bring in more light because we need a lot of light for this. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Ooh. Come on, Roach, now move slower. He's just zooming across the web. Okay, okay, okay perfect, come on. Come on, Trevor Spy, come. No. Why is he not reacting again? Come on, now slowly walk. Yes, slowly. Yeah, you can clean over there. Come on. I will then try to do it manually. And that means hurting the roach and hoping to bait the reaction from the spider. Oh, Mr. Trapdoor Spider, why? Nope, the spider is not... Ah, god damn. Let's just check where the spider is. Oh, right there. Oh, whoa, right there at the entrance. Ooh, oh, whoa, that was a bit theatrical. Let me just try placing the roach here. And then lifting. Ooh. <laughs> so mad, okay. You can now... Oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Jeez, oh. okay, okay, I'm gonna leave you alone, sorry. We didn't get a feeding clip, but we got some interesting recordings for sure. Next one, next one. Let's do something that I know that will eat. The one that webs a lot, the Linotella Megateloides, although the name changed and I don't remember what is the new name. <laughs> so I will just write it down. That one already seems to be eager to get a roach, you see? So I'm just going to reuse this one. Okay, roachy, roachy, you can move now. What, what, what? Hey, this carry too much? Come on, there is a juicy roach. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, oh, great. Well, there you go. For a second, I thought that maybe the roach is a bit too big for it, but nope. Not the problem. Oh, will it all pull it? There it goes now in its tunnel with some spinneret action. Look at those spinnerets. Huge and long spinnerets. Oh, no, it's turning now. Ooh. Webbing the roach already. Nice, nice, nice. A little bit of webbing action. That's what we like for sure, right? Where are you going now? Want me to close the door? Sure thing, buddy. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> okay, let's feed the other one. This one looks kind of fresh, but 
I hope it is still down for you some action. Oh, look at this. You see fangs and everything. Very, very good. And as you see, this is not a lateralis roach. This is actually a, a headlight cockroach nymph. But look how beautiful these spiders are. Although the way they web and the amount of web they do is their best selling point. All right, all right, all right. Let's now feed the, the spiders from last video. You know, the heteropoda David Bowie and the other guys. Heteropoda will actually be first because it is... You see, right there, it was spending its days on the cork bark, but now when we are recording the video, it decided to just sit on the acrylic, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think that they are, unlike tarantulas, they can actually see, so I think if I put the roach on the cork bark, it will probably visually see it. At least I'm hoping that that's the case. Nope, Mr. David Bowie has a roach. Can't you see it? A different approach. I'm gonna place it just under it. Go! It is now... Did you see that? It is now on the camera! Now you see why I was afraid to rehouse these guys. See, they just basically teleport and... Yeah, one, two, three and it is already on the camera. Uh, let's see if I can get it to come back in. Maybe with... Yes! Yes, 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 it's a great success. I'm not sure if I startled it or what, oh. Okay, that means that it is not interested. Maybe a pre-molt, although I think it molted relatively recently. Oh, and I forgot. I also need to water the enclosures. Bleep, 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 bleep. And hopefully the guy will just go straight down. Go. Okay, thank you. No feeding clip, but at least we didn't lose it. <laughs> when the spider is so fast and so tiny, it is so sketchy because you just lose it in a second. Next ones are these two spiders. And since they are already in front and so easily visible, I think that I will just open their enclosures and feed them like this. I will just drop the roach and we will see what will happen. Just gently open their enclosures and the first roach can go in. Oh! Jeez, that was immediate reaction, no hesitation, nothing, it just went straight for as it was falling. I don't think that the roach hit the ground before the, the spider caught it. So maybe a slow motion for next one. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one wasn't as fast, but still, <laughs> we will see in the slow motion. I hope that the recording was interesting at least. Look how it caught the roach right at the neck. Whoa. And there it goes. In the hiding, great. By the way, I was reading the comments in regards to these smaller enclosures and some of you were concerned that the gap here is kinda big so potentially a spider can go outside, a small spider. And that is correct because you know, I had two of these jumping spiders, but now I have only one of these jumping spiders. You can probably guess why. This is female and she's bigger, so she's still inside, but the male actually managed to squeeze out. And now what I did, just in case, not sure if it is visible here, but I put a transparent tape over it, so it is now fully secure. The roaches also cannot go out or anything, but yeah, that was the problem. But there is actually a reason why there is a hole of this size. And I can show you with these two enclosures. You see, this one got a bigger hole, while this one got a smaller hole. I was talking with the guy that is building these enclosures for me, and I said, when a jumping spider escaped, I asked him if there is a possibility to make a smaller hole, and he said, not a problem. So this enclosure got a smaller hole, but there another problem emerges. When you open this enclosure, you see you open it like this. Really, really nice. But when you open this enclosure, this is what happens. It cannot really go beyond vertical, so it often just goes back, so that is not good. And also the hinge is smaller, so therefore it can potentially break easier. And that's why after that first batch of enclosures, I ask for once again these bigger hinges with bigger holes. And in case you keep some tiny spider inside, you can just tape over that hole and that works. Next two spiders are these two Viridasius species. Oh, this one is actually visible, while the other one is 
under the cork bark as you see this one didn't web at all but this one that is currently outside look at this it made like a hammock and the reason for that is you see there is a mold down there so it molted and we won't feed it because of that but it, it is cool that it is now bigger than in last video <laughs> perfect timing so for the one that didn't mold i made like this and we are going to drop the roach and hopefully the roach will go where it needs to okay oh <laughs> that was fast as expected i cannot wait for these to get bigger so we can record it a bit easier and better yeah but this spider looks so so sweet a bit of water and we carry on let me now show you these i have five of them as you can see so i'm only going to feed and show you one they're not that exciting spider and they all look the same so yeah here it is in all its glory i know it looks like a just a regular spider from outside but i got these i think like four or maybe even five years ago so really long-lived spider for the appearance because they really look like some spider that i picked from the outside okay wait 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 with the takedown yes and they're always doing it like this they're just kind of doing it safely like poking and prodding to make sure that it is a a correct size prey and that it is a prey and that they actually want to grab it their web is really really sticky so they can't afford to do that no, when i drop roach inside basically roach will never be able to move out of the web it will just stay where i dropped it as you can see right now come on girl grab it yes a little bit more she's really taking her time you see right on the roach and still waits okay this is taking way too long i don't know why she's waiting but yeah she will take it down eventually and yeah we can just envision that uh, by the way the most interesting fact when it comes to these spiders i never put a drop of water inside so they just live like this that is how they live without any water they take all the all the humidity from their prey now the time is for sid and nancy sid is a mature male fidipus regius and there is a dead roach that's not a good sign because that means that he didn't eat the last roach i gave him but he is a mature male philippus regius while nancy over here is the female philippus regius and you know that i tried to breed them recently but nothing still happened so i wasn't really sure if it was successful and some told me after watching the video that it was also unsuccessful although you will see she is getting quite fat but in the same time she does not eat so I'm not sure if she's in the pre malt jest or or what no idea regardless let's well what is he doing let's offer seed a roach seed seed can you see this roach jumping spiders should have an amazing vision so maybe he needs glasses just like me oh there we go wanna grab it seed wanna show off your abilities if he will follow it yeah he's following it okay oh there we go jumping spider take down great 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 that makes me so so happy but looking at his fangs man oh man how good that is oh let me just grab a macro lens this is like a perfect shot if i can be quick enough okay no don't go oh look at him such a detailed detailed shot please turn so we can once again check out those fangs seems like he will okay just a little bit more thankfully the roach is turning him oh no just stop 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 come on how strong that roach is ah oh, missed it no at least we get an excellent shot of his booty right <laughs> i'm gonna try to turn him a bit yes 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 okay oh man focus on this camera is like the thing from nightmares Ugh. nope too slow once again we get a perfect shot at his abdomen but things no way jose okay never mind uh, let me show you where nancy is yeah she is at the same spot you see her over there yeah look her abdomen is 
really, really big. I think I'm convinced that it is bigger than it was. So I don't know, maybe she didn't want to pair because she is in a pre-mold or pairing was successful maybe and she's going to drop an exec anytime now yeah i just we'll just wait and see i guess i won't even try to feed her because as i said she refuses to eat ever since i got her which is not really the best but what can you do what can you do and less spiders are these probably the coolest out of the bunch six i sand spiders right there you can spot uh, an abdomen and a bit of legs. You know, this spider is hiding in the sand and we will drop the roach so you will see the, the spider. That is if it is hungry, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> too slow, but you see abdomen is relatively large so I'm pretty sure that she is not that hungry. But I can still poke the roach. There we go, second attempt. Ah, go back roach, go meet your doom. <laughs> oh, this spider is definitely the patient one. It just let Roach to walk across it and then it striked. Awesome. I love these. I love these 6 i sense spiders. I just hope that they will live for much, much, much more. I have them for seven years, six, seven years. I don't know. And honestly, when I got them, I had no idea that they are so long lived. And also without a drop of liquid. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's a rock on top of you. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, same thing. The roach is. Whoa! What the? <laughs> How did that happen? Did the roach get bit? Oh, it doesn't look like that. Somehow he awaited the attack. I go back. Uh, no, what? Is this roach like super slippery or what? Ah. Ah. Come on, grab it now. For the Dark Den family, we want to see the final takedown. It's the final takedown. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> no, what? There we go, finally. Roach down. I repeat, roach down. <laughs> great, great, great. Oh, right then. This was all for this video. We fed majority. And honestly, I'm only sad that we didn't manage to feed the trapdoor spider. That was the one that I was hoping to feed the most. But you win some, you lose some. Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, and also, go to the web shop and check, up, check out the stuff over there. Um, yeah, I upload on Monday and sometimes uh, live stream Sunday. See you again soon. Bye! <laughs>